Hi everyone, CLH here and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can have multiple subdomains connected to your Entresoft. Alright, let's dig in. So first of all let's go ahead and sign into your Entresoft and as you can see this is the new UI. So what we are planning to do, let's say that you have a domain called for example yourdomain.com. So the subdomain is going to be something like when you type, let's say, fb.yourdomain.com. So fb is your subdomain in this case. Or you can have something like booking.yourdomain.com. So pretty much anything that you put behind your domain, that's going to be your subdomain. And let's say that it's actually a good practice when you want to keep your brand kind of consistent. So let's say you have your page, your main page at the address of your domain.com then you have your blog for example on a separate platform and the blog is going to be blog.yourdomain.com you have for example your funnels that are descending traffic from Facebook you can put them in a separate subdomain called fb or facebook.yourdomain.com same as other traffic sources that you have so for example if they come in from Instagram and those kind of things you can uh, kind of have a brand and they look nice so for example if someone click on it uh, or tap on it on their phone and they are from Facebook they click on or tap on it it opens up like for example facebook.yourdomain.com really nice and clean so now how we can do this actually in Entresol the process is going to be pretty much the same no matter uh, what is your domain registrar so in my case it's GoDaddy so I went, in, uh, I went ahead already and signed into my GoDaddy and I brought up one of my uh, domains as you can see in here and I want to show you how you can actually, there's two ways of doing this, one of them is what we call wildcard and the other one is basically a one by one adding subdomain. I'm going to first show you the one by one version and then I'm going to show you the uh, wildcard version and then we can talk about a little bit about what this means and what are the pros and cons of doing it either wildcard or just one by one version all right let's go ahead and let's uh, dig in so first of all we go back to Entresoft and I want you to go all the way down to your bottom left click on settings and once this comes up you want to go ahead and click on your domains and as you can see I've already have tons of domains in here no worry about that if you don't have any just go ahead and on top right, click on add a new domain. This comes up, what I would like you to do is I want you to copy this text in here, all this red text. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and then keep this page open. Go ahead and jump back to your uh, GoDaddy in my case. And what I want you to do is we go to top right, click on add. This comes up, we want to add a record and the record is going to be, the type is going to be CNAME. So this version that we're going to do is going to be one by one. So let's say we want to add the Facebook one. So I'm just gonna put Facebook, you don't need the dot, and we're just gonna paste the uh, thing that we copied, the flash.funnel.msgsndr.com from the Entresoft, we paste it in there. Don't, forget, uh, don't worry about the TTL, just leave it as default. If your uh, domain registrator forces you to choose something, go ahead and choose the smallest one, which is uh, half an hour. All right, go ahead and click on Add Record. Let's take a little bit of time, there we go. It's updated, it's sitting there, as you can see. Now if I go back in my Entresoft and I type Facebook, dot entremastermind.com so this is my domain this is basically this guy entremastermind.com that's my main domain and that is going to be the subdomain that we just added inside that CNAME record and if I go ahead and click on add that will get added as you can see if I close this one you can see that it got added in here now this case it means if you go if you want to go ahead and add another one you have to go ahead in here and add another C name. So it's basically you keep adding C names for every single subdomain that you want to add. However, there's a better way. 
So if I go ahead and let's uh, delete this one. And instead of doing it this way, if I go ahead and click on add, and I choose again C name, but for the name, I just put asterisk. So that's the wildcard. And for this, we're just gonna go paste the same flash.funnels and keep it as default. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on add record. Now what's gonna happen is if I go back to Entresoft and click on add a new domain, I can literally type whatever I want in here. So I can say this one is Instagram.entremastermind.com and then click on add. It might take a little bit of time for it to come. Let's try again. There we go. Sometimes it takes a couple of uh, one or two minutes. So, and now let's say, okay, I decided to add the blog one. So I'm going to type blog.entremastermind.com. I'm going to click on add. And there you go, another domain got added. So as you can see, you can keep adding in here and you don't need to go ahead and add anything inside your DNS. So there is not much downside to this, except if you are doing the same thing for using the same domain. Uh, for your actually outgoing messages. Sometimes the DKIM might get a little bit confused because we are using the wildcard and it might cause a little bit of issue. But if you mainly using this, uh, let's say you have a separate domain just for your outgoing email or using a different subdomain for your outgoing email, that would be okay and you don't need to worry about adding the wildcard. But other than that, there's no downside to this and it actually saves you a lot of time uh, to come in here and have like tons of CNAME adding, uh, adding it in here. So it's pretty helpful. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a quick one. Uh, let me know if you have any question or if there is anything that you would like to know more about Entresoft. I'm more than happy to help you. Please do make sure to like this video, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also if you would like to learn more and get in deeper in this with one-on-one -on -one coaching make sure that you join my membership by clicking or tapping on that join button down at uh, the bottom of this video if you want to know more about how all of these things works you can click on the first link in the youtube description that i put there or the first comment that i've pinned so make sure that you do that once again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye